been waiting for. She says she is fed up with, quote, idiotic Republican blunders. Her brand new book, Never Trust a Liberal, over three, especially a Republican, in bookstores tomorrow. And you can get it on Amazon.com. What's up, Coulter? So glad to be here, Sean Hannity. I, by the way, your book covers get better and better every this time. This is a good one. Yeah, though, that's pretty awesome. I like it. It looks great. Um, you know why this book is timely is you've got now establishment Republicans at war with their Tea Party conservative base. Yes. And I'm angry over it. Yes, though part of the point of my chapter one is to get out of that paradigm of Tea Party versus establishment. We've lost a lot of Senate elections. According to the Cook Report, there were 10 contested elections in 2012. Republicans lost 12 of them. In 2010, there were seven contested elections, you know, six months out. Republicans lost five of them. This is not a party that seems overly concerned with winning elections. Look, some of these elections to the United States Senate were lost by what you might call the Tea Party, some by the establishment, a lot by Republican consultants. My argument is, in chapter one here, is the problem is we have hucksters, shysters, people ripping off the Republican Party for their own self-aggrandizement, for their own egos, to make money. I mean, I would put Todd Aiken, Newt Gingrich, um, Liz Cheney, uh, Mark Sanford, all in the same boat. Oh, and the consultants who persuaded Linda McMahon and John Racy to run. Why are you taking Liz Cheney and Newt? Why? Because Newt was never, and well, I'm already right. all in, but he ran for president. And look, I've made mistakes like this in the past, too, supporting congressmen, supporting inspiration no, leaders. Your biggest mistake was Christie. Perhaps it was. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, and please, yeah. Republicans, looking ahead, but I'm talking mostly about Senate and House elections, in 2016, we are not going to be nominating a congressman, an inspirational leader, um, a right. businessman. Only look at governors and senators. Let and me ask this question. These are people who are looking for TV shows, who are looking to make money. Why should we be having, and I love Liz Cheney, but why should we be having a rancorous primary against a good Republican senator other than for Liz Cheney's ego. I don't think it's about that. I think she's more conservative. No, she isn't. I think she is. No, she isn't. Uh, well, all right. I don't want to get into no, specific. Let's not get into specific. Here's my but take. But that's the point. But there wait, are a lot on, of problems. We are not concentrating on winning. We are allowing shysters to take advantage but of here the Republican is, she's Party. She's not a shyster. So let, let's be clear. But let, here's the question, because you're right. You, you've got to win to have power. Yeah. But here's here. But there also needs to be principle driving things. Yes. Every single Republican ran on repealing Obamacare. Yes. Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, Mike Lee, they stand up, they're fulfilling their promise, and Corker and McCain and Peter King are slamming them for doing what they told their constituents they would do. Yes. That really ticks me off. I agree, and it always goes that way, which is why I don't want the conservative Republicans to do what the establishment does, and that is every time Republicans lose, for whatever reason, somehow it's the pro-lifers who get blamed. Wait a second. What did we do? Um, I mean, it varies from race to race and from con man to con man. The point is concentrate on winning. Democrats have much crazier but, members but of balance, their party. Wait a minute, but winning balance with principle. Let well, me, yes, because it, I would make that even stronger than what you're saying. Conservatism is popular. Agreed. Ronald Reagan won, what, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, being absolutely stalwartly pro-life. The country is overwhelmingly New York's gone. California's out of play. Listen, look, we yes, got to be because blunt. of immigration. All right, well, for a lot Just of by reasons. By the way, footnote. And, but, and the worst part is all New Yorkers and all kid, people in New Jersey and California, they're all moving out of the states they ruined yes. into red states and they're ruining those states. <laughs> You know, it's let's, ridiculous. It's let's true. Let's hope not. And by the way, that is only the first chapter of the book. This book covers absolutely everything because I think yes, a lot of Republicans were as sick of politics as I was after, after the last election. Not this anymore. They're, they're engaged again. Best of the last year. decade. I have a chapter on Christianity, on crime, on Amanda Knox. If you are mm -hmm. bored with politics, there is something in here for you. No, there is. But, all right. When we come back, I got to ask you the question, which is, Every book, I make guesses about where liberals are going to attack you. And the bottom line is, this is one time I probably can't guess, because on every, every page, page, they are going to attack you, which you enjoy. You, every page. Why don't people understand you are a provocative, iconoclastic, humorous writer, and you like to push people buttons, and they, and they respond? I think I've persuaded liberals. They're not really attacking me anymore. I think I have finally won them over, Sean. There's nothing in this book liberals disagree with or disagree right. with me, liberals. I've got a couple of questions more for Anne when we get back right after the break. Don't forget.